What is up guys, it's your boy Stinymon here, and today I want to welcome you guys back to the Pokemon Omega Ruby Let's Play. I do apologize for the delay on uploads. I've been so busy lately, I have forgotten to actually get some episodes done. So, without further ado, let's get episode 5 started. And of course, before I forget, do a team recap. So, ladies and gentlemen, of course, we have Ralts, a.k.a. Royalty, the Psychic Fairy type, with the Trace Ability, with the moves Disarming, Voice Confusion, Double Team, and Teleport. Next up, we have Danielle, the Talo, with the Normal Flying Typing, with the moves Pet Growl, Focus Energy, and Wing Attack. Next up is Beautifly, aka Snazzy Fly, with the moves Tackle, String Shot, Gust, and Absorb. Then we have Luigi Bro, aka Poochiana, with the moves Fire Fang, Odor Sleuth, Sand Attack, and Bite. Next up we have Orange, aka the Zigzagoon, with the moves Headbutt, Baby Doll Eyes, Cut and Sand Attack, and finally our starter Pokemon, the le the myth, the legend, Mudkip, aka Speedy Gaming, with the moves Tackle, Growl, Water Gun, and Mud Slap, holding the Quick Claw. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is our team so far. So, as I said, I was going to do some off-screen grinding. In the last episode, and I did do some grinding, got everybody to 13. But now we are going to go on and keep. We're going to train and get ready for this gym. So let's get right on into this. The hope today is to at least make it through the gym. And hopefully get to the next town and hopefully possibly even make a small dent in the series and possibly try to catch us some new Pokemon that is the hope anyway for today and we are going to switch out. I think we'll switch out to Snazzy Fly. And we are going to try to do the best we can. As I say in all the videos, I do apologize for the content. I do know it's not the best video quality, but we do the best with what we have. And we are, like I said, trying to keep the videos right around 20 to 25 minutes, give or take. So that way we can ensure that it's not taking up a lot of time, but it is just taking up the right amount. But you guys seem to enjoy having the variations of long and short videos, so I will probably try to make sure I keep it like that um another thing i'm going to be trying to do hopefully is uh doing a lot of team training whenever i'm not uploading a new video i will try to train everybody to get right on the same level or right around there so that way they are all equally trained and ready for battle So this is going to be a good series. And do we not? Oh, we do have potions. Okay, thank God. I was going to say, I didn't think sure we are out of potions. Okay. But we are going to keep training up our team. Making our team stronger and better. And with that, 
we are going to ensure that everybody is equally trained and equally as strong as the other. I do definitely hope that we get some interesting Pokemon. Pokemon that you guys would like to have added to the team. Hell, it would be nice to have some Pokemon that you guys wouldn't mind battling. And I gotta tell you, I hate the uh, trace ability because of what it does, which traces other Pokemon's ability. Sometimes it's good, but having this Pokemon on the field makes it very annoying. Makes it so that way doing battle with it sucks the truant ability, which I know for a lot of people know that you can't do much on this on your second time on uh, every other turn is when you can attack so it's kind of a real problem for my team well mainly for royalty because I royalty is very good oh my Okay, we're going to switch out now to something a little more effective, I think. I think we're going to go out to Speedy Gaming to take down this slack off. Because this thing is just annoying. I prefer to have killed him or knocked him out forward with Speedy Gaming. But, or with uh, Royalty. But it doesn't seem like that was going to happen because this slack off does not want to go down easily. So we're going to make sure that we take him down very easily so that we can move on and get a little bit further into this game. And Speedy Gaming hit level 16. Which is great news for us, because I, oh, and Snazzy Fly hit 14, and the Ouija Bro hit 14 as well. This is great news for us, though, because Speedy Gaming will become a Marsh Chop in this episode, which is very good. I love that. So now we have two Pokemon in evolutionary states, which is awesome. I cannot wait to get Speedy to his final evolution to have Ooh, Mudshot. Very good. Um, I think we'll get rid of Tackle for that. I don't see us needing Tackle for much. So there it is. Speedy Gaming, congratulations, brother. You just evolved. That is awesome news. And without further ado, let's get into this cave and get ready to try to take on this gym. Oh. Looks like we might have to go take on the gym anyway. I'm gonna try to see if we can do what you used to be able to do where you could go to Steven. Hmm. We're gonna start with a confusion on this Zubat. Now we are hopefully going to be able to take everything in this gym out using our Pokemon that we have on the team. I do definitely think this is going to be a very interesting battle to say the least for this gym. And after we go get our bike and get everything that we need in the next 
in the next episode, we will be trying to, uh, probably come back to Doofer and run through that cave and try to pick up some new Pokemon and see what happens. But as I said, we are going to be taking on the gym today. And this will be very, very good for us. Getting our second badge in the fifth episode. Is it possible for us to gain our fifth gym badge? Let's find out right now as we get ready to take on the second gym. Let's get hype. Let's get that second gym badge hype. Let's go. Let's get it done. And this will be very interesting because I'm pretty sure the Pokemon that are in this gym are fighting type. And if I remember correctly, is the highest for the gym leader is going to be... 20 or 22 so he'll be relatively high which means we should probably be able to hopefully get our gym badge this episode if not then we will try our best to get it in the next episode and excuse that royalty has grown to level 14 congratulations girl Level 14 and Luck Chant. I do believe we will be learning Luck Chant for. We'll take Teleport. So that way we can avoid taking any serious damage, any real critical damage here. So let's. Come on. There we go. We are making it through this gym relatively easily. So this is going to hopefully be a quick sweep for us with our Pokemon. So we are going to hopefully, as I said, get through this gym beat the gym leader down and be able to gain a few effective training or get a good amount of levels off for everyone to have and then maybe be able to uh, get to our next town which if I remember correctly is Sailport Which means we should be right on point afterwards to do some real heavy, heavy grinding if need be. And this should be a relatively easy. Gym battle should be. I don't think we should have any real problems in here. It doesn't look like we've had any real problems yet, but this is still real early and it's hard to tell whether we will just body this gym or get bodied. I am hoping though that we can make a real heavy pace out of this gym, deal a lot of damage early, and Possibly destroy this gym leader quickly Especially because our mon are very powerful and they do make a hell of a good match for most players Well for most people And there we go down goes the meta tight and royalty gains 130 XP and ends coming a much up so we won't 
switch we will stay in and we will disarming voice once more possibly twice if need be yeah I think one more or even actually yeah disarming voice actually no we're gonna drop a confusion And there goes down goes the much up and there's a hundred and forty two experience Danielle level 15 orange level 14 look at that our team is coming along nicely now I don't quite remember the way so let's take a look We are going to go back to the Pokemon Center heal and then try to take this gym leader on. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you guys leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure to give everybody shout outs, all the Mons, all the people nicknamed after Mons including my boy Speedy Gaming who gotta tell you is one of the best youtubers out there and by far one of my favorites because he is always hyped up ready to go ready to start new episode and have fun with everybody in the chat he is always making people enjoy the content that he uploads and I gotta tell you I enjoy his content and cannot wait to get started so without further ado let's get this gym battle started and let's bring down this gym leader and get to the next town let us see what this gym leaders got brawly hey this will be interesting. Leader Brawl is sent out a much up. You go ahead and send your much up out. We are going to send out our Ralts. And we are going to start with a luck chant to prevent any crit hits from happening. Which should make this a little bit better for us. Next, we're going to use a disarming voice and try to deal as much damage as possible. And we're going to hope that we can just whip through this gym no problem. No. Oh, that's a little scary actually. So we're going to go one more disarming voice and hope that we can take this mud chop down. And then we will switch mons to quickly give me a chance to heal up royalty. Uh, you know what? We're going to send Danielle in. Having the type advantage over his Makuhita. This will give us a chance to quickly heal up Ralts, aka Royalty, getting Royalty back to full health, hopefully. And we are just going to quickly use Focus Energy, so that way we can start dealing a little bit more damage and hopefully land crits 
and we are going to go right in with the wing attack. And I just noticed his Pokemon aren't as strong. Oh, Danielle coming through with a crit knockout. And I believe that is it for his Pokemon. That means we just got our second gym badge. It is. Yes, it does. We have gotten our second gym badge. Let's get GG up in the chat. Congratulations to everybody. But let's get that royalty and Danielle hype in the chat. Both of them coming through. To give us our second badge. So thank you Danielle. And thank you royalty. Amazing job. Now we are going to go on. To try to make it to the next town. And then. Hopefully. We will end that episode off. Right there on the beach. And we will go from there. In the next episode. Try to make it as far as we possibly can. So as I said, we are going to try to make it to the next city in this episode. Whoop. My bad, guys. So let's get going. Let's get in here. Get... Ah! A Makuhita. Let's take down this Makuhita quickly. Go for one more disarming voice and then move on to try to get to the next town. Where we will end off the episode. So here we go. Oh, let's go get in here. And here we go. We should be able to get. This will be definitely interesting from here. I will say my favorite character of all the Pokemon series so far, at least in game form, was Steven, especially because having him as a champion makes an interesting challenge for us. But I do enjoy every time we see Steven in this game. He does make it kind of fun for us. And we get the TM51 for Steel Wing, which is great. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we will be trying, before we get to our next town, we will be teaching another Pokemon. We will be teaching a Pokemon, Steel Wing. Let's see which Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Danielle is actually our only Pokemon who can learn Steel Wing. Unless, oh, uh, well, unless Beautiful I can too. I don't quite know. So let's see. Beautiful I cannot learn Steel Wing, which is unfortunate, but it is okay. Danielle is going to learn Steel Wing. And I think we are going to probably replace. We are going to release Peck, or sorry, we're going to get rid of Peck to teach Steel Wing to Danielle. So Danielle has an interesting move set going for her right now. So this will be a good, good battle. Well, this has been a great episode, guys. I've enjoyed everything a lot, and I gotta tell you, the best thing about this is all of our mons work so hard for everybody and especially knowing that you guys some of you guys who watch know that I am nicknaming these mons after you guys because you guys always come through 
always do the best you can and that is great we I wanted to show some I wanted to just quickly say you guys are awesome and thank you guys for all the support you guys give and as I said in the next episode we will be going we are going to get into the next city, town, or area that we are going to be in right now. And we will pick up in the next episode right there. So let's get going over to the, sil the Slateport Shipyard. So let's get to Slateport. And here we are guys we will save right here and we will continue in the next episode thank you guys so very much it's your boy Standymon signing off